the phrase you use, uh, that's right too. Okay. Can you share the meaning or yeah. the backstory to that? Uh, like, that's right too. Like, when I got out of jail, my brother then was saying it. But, like, we use that right too for, like, it's almost like, you know how you spell two, T O O, like, also? So I use just, like, all right, like, what the girl, Brian, like, that right too. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can, be, you can use, like, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can use, like, also, you know what I'm saying? It's just how you put it like at the end, you know what I'm saying? It's just almost just like to confirm what you're saying right, you know what I'm saying? You're mm-hmm. gonna be there. I'm gonna be there, bro. Say that right too. It's almost like confirmation. So like that's what it's almost like that two extra, you know, like that also. And when you say brother, are you talking about like a biological brother yeah. or are you just using the phrase? No, I was talking about my biological brother. Oh. Yeah, see like when I got home, they was already saying it. So I really had got it from them. Oh. And you know what I'm saying? With me being the rapper, I just put it on the map. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's even still in your bio on social media. That's you... it. But like, I, that's, that's it. it's, in, it's in the way I talk. It's like in my dictionary. You know what I'm saying? It's in the, the Quintus. You know, you got Webster's, you got the Quintus. It's in my dictionary. So, like, that's what it is. Like, that was my stamp. Like, that's that's what I'm known for. That mm-hmm. right, too. Was there ever a thought on ever using that as a title for a song or a project? Um, or is that corny to you? Nah, a project would be dope. I don't know, I think I might have, like, saved a song under that before, but, like, uh, uh, um, an album or, like, an EP or some shit, that'd be dope. I might have to, like, take, you know what I'm saying, take that from you. That's dope. Because, uh, technically, I, I mean, would you consider that an ad-lib, too? Because you yeah. do say it in a certain That's way how, song. See, it started as an ad-lib, but, like, see, the when I first started rapping, it's, like, looking up to the greats and stuff, like, Jeezy. He had to add a little, yeah, and it was like, so I was trying to like study and mimic my favorite and try to come up with something too, though, mm. you feel me? But like try to come up with something like we, we was using in our everyday talk, and it was something we was, and like after I put it on like the first song, I tried on another one, like, why well, this gonna be the one I'm gonna stand? It was that, and the rich homie, baby, you feel me? Well, you you know you got a stand when you can say it on any song, any tempo, and it just sound hard, so. That was it. Yeah, that's my sound. You're the only person I heard use that phrase as an ad lib. That's right, too. But have you heard others emulate that? Or? Man, I heard Quando Rondo said. Oh. He said, like, that right three. But everybody know that's me. Yeah. How'd you feel? When, I'm just curious. How'd you feel when you heard him say, that's right three? Shit, I just, I ain't feel no type of way. Like, everybody be hitting me up, bro, bro. He sounds just like, I look at it like, that's what I'm supposed to do. Motiv- you know what I'm saying? Motivate the, you know what I'm saying, the youngest, man. He, he part of the younger generation, man. That's what I'm supposed to do. You feel me? If you ask me, I don't get I don't get enough credit for it. But like niggas know, bro. Niggas know. 